check in and wish everybody luck here. Sincere love and purity and light to all you that watch this. I wish you the best. I truthfully do, soul to soul. I wish you the best. And I want to talk. Um, I want to talk about what I just posted. So I'm going to try and explain you and lead you in the direction towards how you <laughs> should look at life and the higher consciousness aspect on Facebook. Because look, I'm a damaged, triggered soul, same as the rest of you. But let me tell you, I have the right mindset beliefs to go really far in this place and maybe even to ascend or whatever you believe about spirituality, ascension, reincarnation and all this. And this is for you to understand. And if you already know this, Nida already knows this, cool dude. Jefferson, you already know this, cool dude. But everyone can hear and resonate even if you already know. And this is just something I'm thinking through. It's basic. What I'm special in is I'm a connector and I can explain things simply what some of you are doing wrong because some of you are truthfully very toxic do you know what upsets me a lot I try not to get upset by it but some of you are so toxic you don't even care to connect with people that can help you in this reality you truly don't you don't give a shit about connecting because you're so much in your trauma so much in your ego so much the need to be right that you don't even care not just me you don't even care about being nice on facebook to someone you think is an authority figure like me i'm not an authority figure i just know things and i've been through a lot of shit like you and i'm going to explain what you're doing wrong so what i don't like to see and what loads of us and who likes to see this imagine if you're sharing your special truth and excitement on facebook with the world, things that you're learning, which actually might be wrong too. And all you're doing is sharing from your heart information because you care about people. And, and you've all been through this. Nida, you post a lot. Sandy, you post a lot. Jefferson, you post a lot. We've all experienced this. You're all going to resonate with this. Some people in our community of love and light, no wonder why people take the piss out of the love and light spiritual 5D brigade. Because we truthfully don't even know how to be friends amongst each other. This is fucking disgraceful. What's the first rule of making friends? Let's go back to kindergarten, shall we? I'm going to be a bit patronising here to explain to you fully in a sarcastic tone. The first rule of making friends is what? First rule of making friends is you think nicely of that person, you talk nicely about that person, you have fun with that person, you share good vibes, vibration with that person, you support that person on their journey, in their sincere struggle. Now, the issue comes not with someone disagreeing with the post, it's the person behind disagreeing the post in relation to you. So, a lot of people on my Facebook, maybe you are all sincere light workers and non-toxic, but this is not the experience I've had and a lot of you've had. You come on someone else's posts and I don't even know you because, look, I've got 5,000 friends. Some of you, neither I know, haven't met, I love to meet him. Sandy, I've met, my brother and other mother, fucking changed my life. Jefferson, why do I like him? Because he comments and supports my posts. Does it mean that we have to dis that Jefferson, Nida and Sandy have to disagree with me? I'm cool with people disagree with me, but how a relationship and a friendship begins and blossoms? How does a flower grow? You have to water it. You don't just take a toxic shit over the first flower you see. You see a flower, you haven't built a relationship with that flower, the flower doesn't know you, and you take a massive dump because you're in trauma and your ego, and you have to get across that that person's wrong. Now, if I don't know you, and I want to know you because I'm a sincere conketter, do you realize, guys, I'm happy to meet every single person on this Facebook? Do you know that? I'm a connector. I don't care so much about how much you know and how much I know. I just want to meet you. And do you know why? Because I know that there's a little nugget of amazing and awesomeness in each and every one of you. And every time I go and meet people, people surprise me with what they know. And people are my healing. Community in real life of Facebook is sincere fucking healing. I am shy as fuck. But I go out there and I love 
meeting people because it heals me. And guess what? If you give me the opportunity and I'm in your area and I come and meet you, not only do you heal me, guess what? You get the nuggets of gold that are in my brain to you. And that's how you build a friendship by meeting people and giving positive advice. You don't start a friendship by arguing straight away. Who does that? I don't care how spiritual you think you are. If someone you don't know on Facebook comes and disagrees with your post once, twice, three times, and that's all you know of them, that's not a friend. I can't build a relationship with you. You are not my people. You are toxic, and all you want to do is an ego and tell me that I'm wrong. Am I wrong? Yeah. I've been wrong loads of times for wrong. Have you been wrong? Yeah. I don't want to meet you because I already know the people on Facebook that are toxic. Those people on Facebook that are toxic and I don't want to meet, actually, in a funny roundabout way. I do even meet people that are toxic by accident sometimes and learn my lessons. But can you understand the psychology of how to build a friendship? This is not as like some complicated shit like how to win friends and influence people by Dale Carnegie. This is just how people in day to day go about life and building friends. If you want to draw awesome people like myself and many others into your life, in around your actual 3D, not on fucking Facebook, which it, which for the toxic people is a massive ego trip. I'm right. I am not. I don't even. This guy's posting, and I'm right. It's cause, do you know why you do that? Because you're an ego. You want to show me you're right, and you don't even want to meet me. Wow. If that's the case, I'm gonna delete you in time, and I don't want to meet you either. Because I don't want to hang around toxic people that, when I first meet them, imagine this! Oh, get this. Look at this, I'm going to completely exaggerate, but it's true. Imagine I walk up to someone, I think, oh, there's a cool dude, and the first thing he tells me, I open my mouth, first thing he tells me is, you're wrong! You're wrong! Duh, duh, duh. First thing you say, I don't care how love and light you are, you're going to get triggered or think, wow, that's not for me, what a vibration frequency match. That's exactly what some of you toxic people None of the people watching this I can see, but you know who you are, because you're watching this too, and you will watch this. That's not how you build a relationship. You, Some of you guys are so toxic, you don't even know how to make friends. I feel truly sorry for you. I will pray for you. In my higher consciousness states, when I'm on happy and plant medicines, I sincerely pray for the souls of all here, because I'm in such a, a good high vibration, almost non-duality, right? Breaching on that state. I wish you all the best. But that doesn't mean I don't need to protect my energies, and it doesn't mean I don't judge you, because all I know of you... It's about prior history, friends. Great friends are built in real life, or on Facebook, which comes to real life. Through, it's simple, it's through creating good memories. You talk with your friends, you connect on a lot of things. It doesn't necessarily mean you agree with a lot of things, but guess what? Great friends can disagree. But that comes after you've established a good, solid foundation. A lot of you on here that are coming and criticizing me, and I'm speaking for a load of other people, I see it all the time, arguments and other people's posts. You haven't built a relationship? What the fuck are you doing? Do, me, do yourself a favor, check in on yourself, and realize you're so toxic you can't even make friends with people that are love and light. Let alone the, the whatever you believe that normal people are NPCs and are not worth making friends. I can forgive you for that. I don't even resonate with that anymore. The whole world is awesome. We are all souls here. Some are lost. And it's our job to save them. But if you're going around and if you don't know how to make friends with me and others that post great shit that you might disagree on by supporting us, and then maybe down the line when I know you, we have some DM messages, we're having laughs, we're sharing content, by all means, at that point, when I built a prior relationship with you and I like you as a person, please feel free to, to, to say, Harry, do you know what? You say it in a nice way too. Say, Harry, I hear what you're saying, but do you know you might be wrong here? This person might be this. This person might be that. And then, not that I get triggered. I'm human, so I do. I might get less triggered. I might think, well, this is my friend. I have a relationship with him. We go back and forth on DMs. Or I see you around and I, I see... Not even that. You don't even need a prior relationship with me on Facebook and DMs. If I... Because I watch news feeds. If I see you around commenting good vibes on everybody, I know you're a cool person. I want you in my life. I want to help you by meeting you in 3D. It's my honour. And guess what? Selfishly. If I bring you into my life and I meet you, even for a day, or bring you into my life for a long time as a good friend, you can help me, but I refuse, I refuse 
to meet people that are toxic on here that I don't know that seem to think just because I'm some kind of guru in their head and I'm not a fucking guru and sad guru is not a guru and Buddha is not a guru we're all humans doing different things here if you think you have the right um, to come on my post and disagree you do have the right but I also have the right to judge you truthfully as you are as someone who doesn't have basic social skills and basic abilities to make friends with me because like I said I actually am that person that would love I, I'm just one guy I can't meet everybody but I do I am that person I'm a guy I go out there and I meet people I don't I rarely wait for people to come to me I go out and I know when someone's a good person and I will come and I will see you and then I'll make the judgments and you two whether we want to see each other more in life we might be brief friends that check in every few years and every time we meet we have fun vibes but the lot of you that think that you can come on posts that I don't know um, and disagree straight away and think that I'm not going to judge you as toxic when you fucking are please check in yourself because you're toxic and you don't even know how to make friends what's wrong with you guys I didn't know how to make friends I'm a prime example do you know how much trauma I've been through about my traumas about social anxiety I hated people I was demon riddled I hated the world I hated people and you guys can't even make friends with me and support me without knowing me thinking you know me because I post all this shit some of you probably think just because I post things all the time I think I'm always right I'm just sincere and honest with everything I post was I learn here I'm evolving who I was 10 years ago is not who I am today I still got a lot of work to do in 10 years time I've got a lot of work to do but I'm evolving and the reason why I'm evolving is because I'm not hanging out with the toxic people on here I'm choosing my friends wisely I'm not choosing the toxic people that come on posts take a massive dump and expect me to love it when they disagree when I don't even fucking know you do you know what I'll say the truth some of you are more toxic than anyone you want me to be truth I'll tell you the truth my truth some of you that do this are more toxic than someone that's been vaxxed five times and is a fucking fatty and hates themselves. Some of you are way more traumatized because at least a fat person that smiles. Do you know so many people in Mexico are happy? They've had five vaccines. They've had they've had five vaccines. They smile and happy. And do you know why? I prefer them to some of you guys because they know how to make people feel good. They know how to make friends. Where that's just a one minute conversation at the cashier. Just a one minute smile and a laugh and a joke. They're better people than some of you lot. Some of you lot have got a lot of work to do. A lot of work. And this is why I post this video. You think it's in judgment. I'm trying to align you with a higher truth so that you can stop this toxic shit and start doing what I do and start connecting with people so that you can meet them in real life. All of my best friends now have come originally from Facebook and are now in my life. And I try and make them see them periodically and some of them I want to be with forever. And relationships too. What's going on? It's a really mad world and I've explained it so simply because my brain's so simple. If you don't get that and don't vibe with it, please delete me. And I do not like to see it with other people. Obviously I don't know. I see people come on other people's posts and, say, and disagree all the time, the same people. Then I know you're toxic. I know that other people that post a lot um, what the so-called gurus and leaders of this community get it a lot and we do have thick skin I do have thick skin but it's beyond thick skin I want to help you and the people that need my help the most are the get this the people that need my help the most and need me in their life whether that be briefly for a long time they're the ones that actually are the most toxic and you're the ones that are pushing me away why are you doing that why are you pushing me away you're so traumatized, you're pushing me away. Are you crazy? Don't push me away, dudes. Don't push good people away. Don't push your family away. If you're pushing me away as a light worker, what are you doing to vax people? What are you doing to the whatever you believe, the NPCs and all that shit? Which I don't vibe with anymore, but I don't mind your beliefs. I have good friends that believe things that are different with me, and I'm okay with that. That's healthy. Don't misinterpret what I'm saying. I have friends that I don't agree with loads of things. But at the core, you must, I'm not going to make this long, you must, this is so basic, 
I'm telling some of you you don't even know how to make friends due to trauma. And what's that going to cause you? A life of no friends, a life of misery, a life on Facebook where you don't make friends in the real world. And then you end up every day in a negative thought loop pattern thinking the world hates you. You come on Facebook, you think you have to show you're right. I do not want to meet you. I do not want to meet you until you've done the work. You stop your toxic shit and start learning what I did to support people. Do you know, at the beginning, like I said, I truthfully hated the world. My social skills are not great. They're not. I've got a lot better, but they're not great. But I'm improving my social skills because it's important for me to connect with the right people. If you can't learn to make friends, and if you want to stay in your negativity thought loop where all you do is go on Facebook and disagree with us and you don't want to bring us in your life, that's on you. If you want to check out on the world, I wish your soul the best. Go ahead and do it. I'm not going to... You know what I mean. I don't want people... Oh, man. People are going to say, oh, you're encouraging this and going that. No, I'm just saying you do what you need to do. But please, if you want to heal these people I'm talking to, step number one, learn how to support people on Facebook. And even if it feels fake, try it and see the validation, how good it feels to support people and to like and love people's posts and to agree with them. Sometimes even if you disagree, try it. Try making friends first. Friends before being right. If you think being right is more important than being friends, you are so toxic. But you can change. Because I did that. I used to think being right was more important. I'm speaking to myself here. It's my shadow, my trigger. I used to think it was more important to be right than to make friends. Absolutely not. Without connection, I'm nothing. I get lonely. I'm by myself sometimes. Jesus, I need friends. I need people that are good. I shunt along the people on Facebook that I like and I go and see them if they're around the area. I'll visit them and I'll make them real friends. I get lonely too. But please don't be lonely and disagree and think that's how you make friends because you don't make friends with me or anybody by doing this. Please build a relationship with me and other people here first. Be respectful. And if you want to stay in your negative thought loop, I'm well aware some of us can't be saved here. I've met so many people that I want to help in real life. And I'm just going to be honest. Some people, even amongst the love and light that I've met, can't be saved. And my lesson is, I can love them from afar, but I'm not going to hold your hand and save you because I can't. But people like myself and others here, we are powerful, not just with what we know, with our energy, some people with presence, some people with information, some people with laughs, some people with love, just being around people that think on some things is so healing for you. You know what the number one healer is, right? It's not age and it's not fasting, it's not sunlight. Do you know what number one healer is in the world? connection with your tribe man and I can cry if I talk long about this so I don't want to cry but connection is everything in this game it's the shit that heals you the most people that allow you space and understand you I hold space for people I try and love people as they are I want to hear your stories I want to hear your victim stories I want to know what you've been through because I've been through a lot too but please give me the opportunity and stop doing this man stop it all right. Yeah, that was the general message explained in a simple way, which we all experience. But just because you're doing this, it doesn't mean you have to continue to do this. I did it and I changed and I love people. I'm scared of people, but I love them. I'm scared of meeting people. I worry about meeting people sometimes, but I do it anyway. It's kind of true. I'm more scared of, I'm not really scared of meeting you guys, but more normal people. But because I know we've all been for a lot, but obviously some of you guys are very scared of meeting people like myself so much that you want to disconnect from me straight away. You don't want to build a relationship with me, okay? Don't build a relationship with me then. I know my tribe, I know my worth, you all do. But it's not about that. Even if I don't want you in my life, I do care about you so that you don't live in such a dark place all your life. And that's what you're doing. 
I'm exaggerating things a little bit, but what I'm saying is truth. And some of you are doing it. You're pull it, pushing away people that can heal you because you're stuck in some kind of true victim mode. I've met a few people that are stuck in victim thought loops and all I can offer them is an ear and to hear. And that's enough. But I will not offer my ear to hear you out if you are just constantly being negative on my posts. I won't even give you the opportunity to meet me. I don't want to. Who does? Who builds friendships when the first memories of a person you've got are this person thinks they're right and telling me I'm wrong. Second reference experience, I've experienced this person on Facebook. They're telling me they're right and I'm wrong. Third reference, they're telling me I'm right and I'm wrong. Come on, do you really think that's how we make friends? Fuck's sake, some of you need to go back to preschool and learn how to make friends. I'm going to write a book, How to Win Friends in with Dale Carnegie. How to Make Friends and Be a Nice Human by Harry Matadine. There we go. It's, go. it's the best spiritual healing book you're ever going to read. And it's as simple as be fucking nice, spread good energy, love and support people's posts. Another thing which I don't mind too much and I'm okay with is you can silently watch my posts and not support me. I'm honestly okay with that. Sometimes I do shuffle out. When I'm at 5,000 and I've got new friends coming in, it, I, what I do is if I don't know the person, I don't remember them commenting on my posts and I check, I always check my DMs. Have we have a DM history? Are they learning from me, asking questions or am I asking them questions? If we have no history, sometimes I'll delete. But, and when I delete you like this, it's not because I'm triggered, just so you know. It's because I don't have any prior relationship with you and you've silently watched me. I'm okay with people silently watching me, but sometimes I do delete you and please don't take that personally. If you found I've deleted you, you're silently watching me um, please message me and I'll re-add you. But at the same time, you don't have to do this. But it is nice, and that is my nature, to support people not from secretly. I don't support secret people secretly. I want you to know that I care about you, and I love you, and I support you. And that's what I do, because I've got a lot of love in my heart, and I've been through a lot, and so have you. And that's my style. It might not be your style. I'm cool with you slightly watching. And I don't judge for that too much. But yes, I do judge. If you're constantly, if every, every once or twice, every, um, the only experience I've had of you as a soul is through Facebook and you're telling me I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And guess what? I might be wrong, but it's not about that. It's about our friendship and connection you're not cultivating. Shame on you and you're riddled by demons and you can change. And that's the whole point of me making this video. I sincerely wish every soul the best, especially the most broken. I'm speaking to you the most. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Love and light and do your thing and connect with people because Facebook changed my life. I honor the bad tool and I understand what the true agenda of Facebook. I'm not an idiot, but Facebook has changed my life, my income. People like Sandy have changed my life through Facebook. My the, my relationships have been through girls on Facebook. It's been amazing. And I'm sad to see some of you use it wrong just because you're so an ego. And by the way, I was mega an ego. <laughs> I had to be right all the time. I'm talking 10, 15 years ago. I'm 36 now. So I know where you're coming from. That's why I'm trying to connect to you. You think I, you <laughs> think I don't know where you're coming from and I'm calling you out. I've been where you've been. I've been you. I've been, I don't want to play games, but most likely I've suffered more than a load of you can ever imagine. That's what makes me so fucking powerful. It makes me aligned with correct mindsets, correct values and beliefs for me to get me to where I want to go. And where I want to go is to be the most pure, untraumatized soul I can. I want to ascend. I want to die a good death. I want to choose the time of my death. I'm so into spirituality, I'm so into it. I never thought I would be. I come from a really non-spiritual, super grounded in one aspect. Because of trauma, I'm super ungrounded. But because I'm masculine, I think, I am actually super grounded in, in what I do. Um, I'm a little Cudanero, I'm Cunyandero, I'm a little medicine man, growing in my power, I'm only 36. Can you imagine what we're gonna be like when we're 70? You guys watching this, that I see, can you imagine what I'm going to be like when I'm 70 and you've kicked out the opportunity to have me in your life because you're doing this? 
Shame on you. Alright, I'm making this too long. Cheers, Andy. Cheers, Amber. You're cool. I like you. Alright, peace. Bye.